I guess it's going to Dalaran, and I've been at this topic for a while. Just a lot of, there's plenty of ideas I want to get off my chest, off of to you guys. Talk about some of the uh, things coming out from 5.4. We're going to be talking about rogues here, and mainly combat rogues and the expectations for them for 5.4. So, hopefully, I won't make this too depressing, and hope you enjoy the last scene in the background. But this is the kind of uh, images I've been getting recently in my backgrounds. What does it say? Well, I'll bring you guys up to that at the end. What are combat rogues? They have physical damage. Melee, Sin Strike, Reveal and Strike, Mango Shape, all physical damage. The only other de type of damage is Magical, Nature from Poisons, and Shadow from Shadow Blades. Even though Shadow Blades is on 3 minute cooldown, it's not as accessible, and, uh, you know, Poisons, unless it's deadly, it's mainly there for healing reduction. It's not really gonna, you know, up your damage. So, after we establish that uh, Combat Rogues have physical damage, let's look at Warriors, Arms, and Fury. What do they have in common? Well, both of them are warriors. <laughs> it's just the swing and the physical damage there to it. But what is make what makes arms be better than fury? Well, fury doesn't have the procs of Colossus Smash. It has Colossus Smash, but doesn't have the procs. While well, arms has it, and Colossus Smash reduces the armor that the enemy has. The whole point of PvP is to reduce the amount of armor the enemy has and be able to, you know, jump on them, stick on them, and that's really it. Ways to reduce the armor is either have reduction armor abilities like what well, that arms warriors have and subtlety rogues have, find weakness, which puts subtlety a little above combat rogues in the long run, or having magical damage, which red paladins have, uh, mages have, warlocks have, shadow priests have, uh, DKs have, and also assassination rogues have, because uh, magical damage avoids armor. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to get through the armor and all the barriers, mo mostly physical barriers, to get to the enemy's health. And for a combat rogue, for me it has been lately kind of tough. So to bring out this picture again, this uh, makes sense. Most of my damage in the BG, for the most part, comes from literally using deadly poison. If I'm not using deadly poison, I'm dealing almost no damage. The only times I know I need to use, um, I ever need to use wound poison is when I'm in threes, and there I'm just slapping like a wet noodle for the most part. I'm there for CCs. I'm not there as much for damage. And that's kind of. What I want to talk to you guys about is that's what combat rogues are, and it's all about physical damage for the most part. So, with that in mind, even though there's buffs to Sinister Strike by 100%, Reveal and Strike by 40%, and our. Where is that at? It was just here. Vitality increased attack power by 10%, we still don't have anything that can go through armor. In PvE, this is some of the greatest buffs ever. This is the best stuff in the world. This is better than size bread. For PvP, I don't know. I'm just saying. If you guys see me, uh, you know, running 5.4 as an assassination rogue by any reason, don't be too surprised. Um, unless Blizzard ha includes some kind of an interesting mechanic for a uh, combat rogue to, you know, be able to get through armor, combat rogues are going to be able to beat just about every class except having a really hard time with plate classes or any classes that have ar physical armor, physical damage reduction, which is just about every class. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about, and. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.